everyone. I figured I'm going to do a quick review of uh, TrueNAS Scale. I did come from TrueNAS Core, but I do like TrueNAS Scale a lot more. I hope everybody enjoys this video. Thanks. As you can see, it looks almost identical to TrueNAS Core, but for one, it runs on um, Linux, so in my opinion, it runs way better than it used to, but you can see that the graphic interface looks identical to what it used to, and everything's pretty much set up the same way, um, but there's a lot more you could do with this one. Um, the What I'm using it for is we have a media server plex, and as you can see I have a, a huge onslaught of data for it. Um, the shares are a little bit different. This is the one thing that um, I didn't like as much, but I do understand the security implications of it. You can't have an active share. So, for example, with this media folder, I can't have an active SMB share while it's tied to a live Plex um, app. So my workaround for it is I turn the app off, I then turn the share on, I transfer whatever I want to transfer, and then I turn the share off and turn the app back on. Um, I know there's way better ways to do it. This is just the one that works for me, but you can do it however you'd like. Um, the scrub tasks, everything is set up here. The network's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. Um, uh, there's the local users, local groups, just like you would before. Um, I like the virtual machine it's a lot better on here. It's a little bit easier to set up. As far as these apps go, there are way more. Um, I do hate that I lost Heimdall, or Heimdale, however you pronounce it, but eh, it's the little things. Um, I still prefer to use uh, Nextcloud via a virtual machine on Ubuntu versus using the app from the catalog. I haven't tried setting up Home Assistant from here yet, but I have a uh, Intel Nook I run Home Assistant on because my server uses so much power and I want my Home Assistant to run in the event of a power failure. So I do have Home Assistant running on there, but I will I might check it out. I might install it and make a little video if anyone's interested. But other than that, I mean it's it runs way, way more efficient. Um, you get more out of it this way. But uh yeah, I mean, it's it's a better setup in my opinion. Well, I know this video was pretty simple, but I at least wanted to show something simple because when I was trying to decide between keeping core and upgrading a scale, I wanted someone just to do something literally as simple as this. I just wanted to know what the interface looked like and how simple it was to transfer over, and it was incredibly simple. I went with the route of um, backing everything up to drives and just wiping everything. That way I have a completely fresh restart, but to each is their own, I guess. I hope this was useful. Thanks.